Good day, YouTube. The internet. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. My name is Captain Darren, and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. This is not a uh, amateur radio video per se. It's more of like my car capsule here. I lost power, and um, we had a few heavy rains this past week, and where water collected on the inside. Right now I have no power into it, so I gotta troubleshoot why I'm not receiving power. But uh, I'm going to inflate it, pull the car back, and there's a lot of mold on the exterior of this car capsule. And it's made for indoors, but I've had it outside for two years now, and it's been working great. So stay tuned for my video, so I'm gonna move the car out, and we're gonna troubleshoot this Wi-Fi connectivity issue or power failure and um, and also clean it with bleach and pressure washer what we're looking at now this is the inside of the shed this is a uh, an extension cord that lights up orange when there's power to it so right now there's no power to my smart plug let's take a look at my app let's go to the uh, smart home smart life the car capsule showing it's offline right now. I had this spare Wi-Fi router. It's an Asus and I have it connected here. I'm currently connected to the home network and I'm using this as a repeater so it can bring signal towards the shed where I'm running that extension cord that powers my uh, car capsule. Okay we're back in the the shed here there is power and and the outlet so the smart plugs going back in okay there's currently no power we're going to reconnect with the uh, car capsule using the uh, smart plug there you go now we got light Okay, good. It's working again. Now let's let me remove my car from the capsule. So we got molds growing throughout this clear case. See around this banana tree, you can see the mold right here. I'm not sure if that's mold, but uh, we're gonna use bleach and a pressure washer. Yeah, the front is the front is really bad, and so is the side. It's really bad there, all along the uh, the edge. And also here on the back side.
this is what we got on the inside. You got a dead lizard. This is a computer fan here. This just uh, filters the air going inside the bubble. It's uh, rusted because uh, I'm using an indoor capsule outdoors. This here is the pump that pumps up these pillars and it's pressure sensitive. So when the pressure goes low, that little small little tube, it detects it and it pumps up the, uh, boosts up the air in these pillars. So let me remove all this stuff here and uh, relocate this car capsule to the front of the house and we're going to pressure wash it. The car capsule is now in the front yard. I'm going to reinflate it with the supplied pump. So I got a, a hole here on the top of the car capsule. I feel air seeping out. For a temporary fix, I'm just gonna get some duct tape and then just place it there to create a good seal. With just using the mop and the spraying, I noticed that there are still some mold here, like right there, for example. And I think it needs to be scrubbed. See, when I scrub it, it, it vanishes. So I'm gonna to have to do a lightly scrub on the exterior. There's also mold that's collecting on the inside. Well, not that one specifically, but I noticed there was mold on the inside as I was inspecting. And that's because we had moisture coming in through the top up here. This is where they had the top of there, that's where they had that leak, that gap. You can see it through there. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, there's a, a gouge in the plastic that's separated from the black pillar. So let me just hand scrub this. Say for example here, let me just hand scrub it. Where I'll clean it up a lot better. All right, this is just a mixture of bleach. I'm just using a scouring pad, a light one, starting from the top. I'm just working a section at a time. Oh yeah. I notice it's getting a lot clearer. The best thing to do is just work sections at a time. Okay, there's residue of mold on the inside. Like I said, I'm gonna have to do that cleaning on the inside the same way. With the scouring pad, bleach, diluted in water. So I'm gonna do this, uh, each panel, just do one section at a time, like top, half, middle half, bottom half and then the top right half, middle right half, and then the bottom right half. I'm gonna do that for all four corners, or rather all four sides. And then I'm gonna repeat the same process on the interior of the car capsule. Okay, you don't want to be in there too long because it's hot and humid in here and uh, it's uh, the fumes of the, uh, or the toxic vapors of the uh, bleach. So I'm going to open this up and air it out and uh, continue. Well, this turned out to be a, a long project. So everything is all bleached and rinsed down. I'm just gonna get my air blower or leaf blower and uh, blow out all the uh, 
water droplets from the top and uh, from the floor. And uh, I'm just going to let it air dry. So I'm going to let it sit here overnight, let it dry, and then tomorrow, the next morning, I'm going to move it back to its location. All right, this leaf blower is pretty loud, so I got my hearing protection on. Wow, it's sunset already. Okay, final steps. Got a microfiber cloth. Just wipe down the interior of the uh, sides and the front and back. And then uh, just leave it here overnight. Hopefully just uh, dry the inside naturally. It is evening. I am done for now. You can see that the car capsule, a whole lot cleaner. Remember, this is made for indoors, like in a garage. But you can see my GTH, I don't have a garage. See, there's my uh, GT4. So I use this as my garage. There's the uh, finished product. It's nice and clean. I can see through now in the car capsule. Here you, in the front you can see that I get the filter, the foam filter, and it has a constant speed computer fan that's on the uh, inside. There's the pump that pumps up the pillars and it's pressure sensitive. For example, let me demonstrate. I'm gonna take some of the air out. That's it. Now all I need to do is just clean up the uh, Porsche and then uh, roll it inside. Well, it's a new day and you've reached the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed my entertainment. I, I'm sorry that I'm perspiring like crazy. It is so hot here in uh, Florida and very humid. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe. Leave me a like and comment. It's for the algorithm of YouTube. You guys know that. So I appreciate your support, everyone. Until next video, 73s, and have a great day.